I'm a veterinarian who graduated from UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine in 2012. And I am disappointed that UC Davis is still killing healthy animals in its student training. I was a conscientious objector to labs that involved animal killing. And I am disappointed that labs still involve killing healthy animals. Vet 435B Livestock Emphasis. In this protocol, up to 24 cows are killed in terminal surgery laboratories. Cows are purchased or transferred from the campus dairy or beef barns. The animals appear to be otherwise healthy. Resident teaching protocol for VET 435B, livestock emphasis. In this protocol, up to eight of the cows used in the above protocol will also be used by residents for more advanced anesthesia training. The cows are euthanized at the end of the teaching laboratory, even though, as noted above, they appear to be otherwise healthy animals. 434A, large animal stream one. In this protocol, up to two horses and 13 pigs are requested. The horses are university herd horses that have been selected for euthanasia due to medical or behavioral problems. And their cadavers are used to teach cerebral spinal fluid taps and fluid collections. The pigs are used in internal surgeries and are sourced from vendors or the university. The pigs appear to be otherwise healthy. Vet 435C, zoological emphasis. This protocol requests up to 60 fish annually to be used for teaching veterinary and graduate students and veterinary residents medical procedures. These procedures include examination and diagnostic sampling. And after an aliving necropsy, the fish are sourced from vendors and appear to be otherwise healthy. C. Davis is supposedly the best veterinary school in the world, and I'm disappointed that they still use these outdated teaching methods. All of these procedures can be learned on models and then on animals who actually need these procedures under the guidance of experienced veterinarians. Join me in asking UC Davis to end the use of terminal laboratories at their veterinary school. There are sanctuaries available to take these animals who would be killed for these classes, especially the pigs used for a hernia repair. There are calves that could be adopted out or taken to a sanctuary. It would be really good for those veterinary students to see some of these animals go to a sanctuary. As veterinarians, we should be saving animals, not needlessly using them for outdated educational practices.